The following is a presentation of UFF Sports and the Ultimate Fantasy Sports Network. Welcome, everybody, to the Golden Bowl. It is Championship Monday. We've made it in the American Football Legends League. The road to gold has led right here. I'm Andy McNamara alongside Dan Esposito. Oh, baby. It is the one and two seed facing off against each other. 14 and two Fury, 13 and three Goats. It is almost go time. Dan, welcome, my man. How are you? I'm doing great. It's been a while since we got to sit down and call a game, so I'm excited to watch this game and see who comes out as the inaugural champion uh, to this just amazing league that we've all been a part of for the past year. Man, I'm, I'm so pumped for this. These, these two rosters, they're stacked, they're loaded. It's going to be a great game, but we have a little treat first. We're going to have your expose, your keys to the game as this yeah. one kicks off. First, though, we have a special guest. It's championship day. It's been championship week to sing the national anthem, Matt Cardinal, singer for the award-winning country music band, The Prairie States, is going to sing O Canada and the Star Spangled Banner. Rise if you can for the national anthems. O Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all of us command with glowing hearts we see thee rise the true north strong and free from far and wide oh canada we stand on guard for thee god keep our land Glorious and free, oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight My all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner it wave all the land of the free and the home of the brave. And there you have it, folks. Matt Cardinal, thank you so much, singer, for the Prairie States with the Canadian and U.S. national anthems to get this one going. The Golden Bowl, Dan, the road to gold has led us all here. The Fury had the bye, then defeated the Immortals in a barn burner last week the goats took down the time bandits and the anvils and my friend here we are let's get this one started so i'm looking here so we're gonna do my expose now right yes sir keys to the game yeah. dan keys to the game you know i'm looking here in almost every category fury is rated higher than the goats except at the wide receiver position um you've got pretty much a dominating secondary uh, with the Fury. Uh, really strong defensive uh, line. 
a, a 99 rated quarterback, but on the other side of the ball is Otto Graham. And yeah. since birth, Otto Graham has won everything <laughs> that he's been a part of. He has been a state champion in everything from basketball to football to clarinet or French horn that is. So because it doesn't make any sense, I'm going to go with the goats to pull this out based solely on the performance of Otto Graham, the original Joe Montana, Dang. the original Tom Brady, the original goat. And we're going to see if my expose holds the keys to victory. Well, the original go on the goats. You're right, Dan. And I want to get more into some of those facts you said after, because that's interesting. I didn't realize Otto Graham did, did all that, but went to 10 NFL, went to 10 championship games, won seven of them for the Browns. We'll see if he can do it against, of course, Peyton Manning, this cerebral assassin that he is right here. And folks, it's Fury Stadium. Here we go. It is time to see who is going to win the Golden Bowl. Goats have the ball first. You got Otto Graham back in shotgun. You have Kiki Barber and John Johnson to his left and right in that front line. Derek Thomas Warren, Sap John Randall, Bruce Smith for the Fury. Pressure coming. Fires to the right side. Complete to Jason Witten. Picks up six, second and four. And thanks, everybody, too. Dan, we got a great crowd already here in the Twitch stream. Give us a follow. Click subscribe, follow, click those bits, buy some bits, throw some cheers in. We'll give you a shout out. Subscribe free to do so. All that good stuff. Share the link and jump in the chat. Hello. We got Rick Rock 369 in the house. Larry's there. Maria Maria's in there. We got the, we got uh, Jamie. We got about everybody. Is that a turnover already? Hold on now. I think we might've had a turnover already there, Dan. You know, I'm having trouble getting the game on my Twitch right now, so I will have to get here in a second. That's all right. I will, you, can, you can live it through the radio version of, uh, of the game. There right. was a turnover here. <laughs> now, I couldn't see. I was yapping. I couldn't see who the uh, – I couldn't see who got the turnover there. Maybe somebody else did jump in the chat let us know. But tremendous field position right off the bat for the Fury. Of course, Peyton Manning under center. You have Marshall Falk in the backfield also in this game folks top of the second quarter we will tell you who the mvps are from each position group y'all got to vote we will tell you what happened flag on the play after that completion and it's a uh, holding 10 yards to dwight stevenson right tackle for the fury so we'll have the quarterback who's going to be the mvp we'll go through the nominees running back receiver defense as the fury is pushed back here first and 20 from their 30. We got Randy Moss and what a stud he's been all year. Lone receiver on that wide left. Marvin Harrison in the mix as well. We know how good he can be. Right over the middle. Broken up. Nicely done by Lawrence Taylor of the Goats. And boy, Dan, we talk about how great Lawrence Taylor was in real life. Ten-time Pro Bowler, Hall of Famer. But in the American Fantasy of, uh, of our Football League, we have Lawrence Taylor as an absolute sack monster. He's been unstoppable so many times. Yeah, I'm curious to see how many sacks he's going to get this game. It's... Uh... One of those games where, you know, he steps up and, and could take control of the entire game just on his own, uh, depending on how the line uh, it can kind of hold up those offensive linemen for him to get through. Well, yeah, and we got Phil Beavis in the house. Phil, he said, I'm going with Fury here. So Dan picks the goats. Phil going with Fury. Of course, Fury defeated the Immortals in their best two out of three matchup. Enzo back in that corner, and it is incomplete. That brings up fourth down. Nice job there, intended for Marvin Harrison, broken up by the safety, Willie Brown. And it's a long field goal. Up, 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 back, and good. 47-yarder from Adam Vinatieri. That's a sure leg of a foot that you're going to find in any era of football. And the kickoff back at the end zone, and it is going to be for a touchback. Wow. Now, we'll see how the Goats can come, come back here, Dan. You got the Fury. Getting a three. Now, you know, at least they didn't get a touchdown, but still points on the board. Sure. Yeah, I'm actually finally in the game, thank goodness. Oh, there so, we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, we're cooking, we're cooking. Got Otto right. Graham all alone. Go, hey, he just threw it away. Saw nothing he liked. Yeah. You know what? It's cerebral, right? You don't like it? Throw it away. Do it another day. <laughs> <laughs> that is part of, the, uh, of, of what they said about him was cerebral. 
studied the game, knew the game very well. And, you know, talking about, you know, what a champion Otto Graham was, let's, uh, you know, Avoid kind of start fact. off with the fact he never missed a game as a pro, not one wow. game. Retired at 33, so retired fairly young, but never missed a game as a pro. Wow. Ten seasons, I believe. Um, and if it wasn't more than ten, Dan, I believe he went to a championship game like every game of his career. Like, that's ridiculous. Every season he played in, he took Browns to the title game. That's incredible. 1946 to 1955. That's wild. Yeah. That's wild. Um, served in World War II. Jeez. At birth, weighed 14 pounds. <laughs> setting records literally from the moment he was born mvp is mrs graham oh look at that right. <laughs> did you see that cartwheel hit oh my goodness the ferociousness so, of these special teams oh yeah, my won, won seven of those championships what he went there from 46 to 55 so 10 years uh, 10 or yeah. 11 years also well we'll we'll save some of these stats yeah. for a little later in the game we got, we got uh we got time up now we got Peyton Manning up now as it's switched off and play action. Nicely done. Avoids the sack. Both these two quarterbacks, nice and slippery, not necessarily fast, but the footwork and just knowing who's coming, reading the defenses and knowing how to get away. Second and 10 after yeah. the incompletion. Yeah. Otto Graham, I was very close to sacking very many times and he just sidestepped oh. my uh, defender quite a number of times. That's what you get when you're facing a guy who got to the championship game every year incomplete. These defenses, Dan, we talk a lot about the offenses, but these defenses early on, just under a couple minutes into this first quarter, really impressing. Yeah, there's an interesting player on the GOATs uh, playing in that secondary that we're going to want to talk about a little bit later on as well. Um, I knew nothing about him. Yale Larry. Um, oh, yeah, legend. knew nothing about him going into this game, actually, as I really didn't know that much about Otto Graham either. And I should have done a little more research. But yeah, yeah Larry is a, an interesting uh, uh, player. So played two positions in the NFL, punter and defensive Ooh. back. Smashed. And boy, that was a tough hit right there on uh, Peyton Manning, who got crunched in there. We can't forget about Coy Bacon. We talked about Lawrence Taylor, but Coy Bacon's been quite a force. 41 sacks. In the AFLL this year, three-time Pro Bowler. That has to be a glitch in the matrix. Well, I, I you know what, Dan? I did some. <laughs> I know you had said that before. I looked at, I looked into it. Oh, look at this wide open, over the top, Antonio Gates. What a chunk in the first big play of the game, Antonio Gates from Peyton Manning. Let's go! Wow. Yeah, that's and that's you know a lot of games. A lot of games this year have been uh, decided by tight ends. So You're right. Not surprising to see a tight end make the first big play. Well, your own included. Tony Gonzalez had a great year for Heroes. And by the way, folks, hesitant about what play to make for your business? Contact Data Science and Consultants for an introductory data assessment to develop a roadmap to turn your business's data into usable information, track relevant KPIs and metrics to effortlessly view the health of your business. Go to datasciencing.com for more. Play action again. Manning really worked in that play action. Back in the end zone and swatted down by Willie Brown. Setting up third and 10 from the 24. Marshall Falk, one of the MVP candidates for the running back position. Alongside Jim Brown, Eric Metcalf, Eric Dickerson. A lot of talented people here. And look, hey, despite the big play, Goats holding... The Fury, if it's good, and it is from 41 yards to another field goal dance. You have to figure this. If you're the Goats, you've turned the ball over once. You've given up a huge chunk play, about 40 yards, and you're only down six points. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I want to weigh in a little bit on the MVP candidates on the running back position. Yes. One, I love an underdog. Two, I mean, if we look at the overall MVP, including the digital aspect of this, it has to be Eric Metcalf. He, he's listen i'll tell you i had a vote where he, he gets man of the year one of the two. <laughs> that's right the yeah. dan esposito man of the year there we go <laughs> digital man of the year digital, digital yeah digital man you know what we should make that up for next year Have something digital man please please cement my legacy somehow no, you know what we'll do <laughs> whoever wins the, the the eventual foot race the now becoming mythical foot race between you and walt harris will have the digital man of the year award named after them. named after that? them Okay, well, right? I got four weeks until <laughs> national championships. I'm hopefully running in them. Well, really? Good yeah. for you, man. Where, where is yeah. it being held? Whitten, 14 yards first down, by the way. K Kentucky. 
Oh man, I've always want. I'm a big bourbon guy. I've always wanted to go to Kentucky and do the bourbon trail. Maybe yeah. I'll come down and support you, and I'll just I'll hop right. on the wagon. All right, I just gotta see how the next two weeks go with my uh, my quad. Oh, you gotta you gotta uh, yeah, stretch her out. A little, little tweak. Something. It's okay. A tweak. It's all right. See but, if you were. Uh, yeah. It's my expertise, digital Dan. Though. Digital yeah. Dan no wouldn't injuries. have injuries in injuries the AFL. Turned off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> turn them off. Wide six with the goats. The play that they've gone to pretty much all year and made famous. Lawrence uh, Taylor right in that middle. Oh, sorry, and that's the the fury. My mistake right there. But they've adapted as well. The goats really brought Ooh. up that. Whoa! Look at McMackey. John Mackey. Mackey. John Mackey. Sword from that right side. Auto Graham brings him down to the six yard line. So Graham to Mackey. Interesting. Now out of the eye formation, you got Tiki Barber in the back. John Johnson acting as fullback. Steve Largent, receiver on that right side. You see standing on the near in the slot. And the pressure coming. Avoids another sack. Throws it away. Yeah, that's auto for you. I mean, you barely get he doesn't always complete that one when he's got pressure on him, but he does get away from a lot of them. Yeah. Phil said, I didn't say I wanted them to win as in Fury. <laughs> That's right. That was a great rivalry. An excellent game there. Otto Graham waiting again. Throws it away. He's really looking for that left end zone corner spot there, Dan. And that's where Steve Largent is. We know how great he is in politics and in the Hall of Fame. But sure. you got coverage from Ronnie Lott and Rod Woodson. Those are two tough. I wouldn't want to be thrown into that double coverage. Yeah, it's interesting. You had Steve Largent who um, served in Senate or Congress. I can't remember which one. But then you also have... Uh, Todd Christensen, who I believe when he was still playing, served as a Democratic uh, congressman. Oh, really? I believe okay. so. Well, we got House of Representatives of Oklahoma from 94 to 2002, Steve Largent. It's a House of Reps. Uh, was and, it Otto Graham, was it? What's... And field goal there by the goats who were on the board from the big leg of Sebastian Janikowski, 19 seasons. Of course, infamously known almost, and I guess I guess for the length of his career it worked out, but uh, first round, 17th overall pick by the Raiders. Only the Raiders would take a kicker in the first round. Good player, though, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Jump in the chat room here, folks. You see the wide six, but shifting to the right. Interesting play. We got the You know what? Clump. It was – sorry about that. Oh, I'm interception, interception, here. interception. And that's Christensen. Jack Christensen of the Goats has picked off Peyton Manning. Christensen with the INT, and the Goats get the ball right back. Could this be an early turning point? Less than five minutes into the first quarter. Wow. There's Otto Graham. How does he keep avoiding those sacks? But yeah, he, has to, he keeps throwing them away, though. There's yeah, and that's, you know, but he keeps them alive, and you, you, know, you, you, you come back at a much more manageable distance than – Second and 20, you're still at second and 10 here, so you got a lot of plays you can dial up. Yeah. Oh, got him that time. Oh, okay. Who got? Oh, John Randall. There you go. Okay, there you go. John Randall scorching so was, in from that Jack, right end. It was Jack Christensen that was uh, served in the Texas House of Representatives as a Democrat while he what was still playing in the NFL. Wow. And he, with his interception there, he also led the NFL in interceptions twice in his career. Nice. Interesting. Yeah, a lot of these guys, so so diverse back in the day before you made all those millions and millions. And another sack. Whoa. Hey, Barry. Eric Barry. Rushing in there. Get the sack out of the secondary. Okay. Eric Barry in the nickel position. And he scorched in, and that will Ooh, force. Nice punt. Great punt. Yeah, nice. Put him right back there in the 10. Yeah, nice punt. All right, so we got a close one so far. About to uh, get through one third way through the uh, first quarter here. That's right. In the beginning of the second quarter, we'll go through who the MVP nominees were and who the winners will be. So goats back on defense. Last time Peyton Manning was out, he got picked off by Christensen. Play action. Oh, it just got rid of that ball, Dan. Oh boy, you had Lawrence Taylor right there. Right There's there. LT. It's game changer. Ooh. So. You know, I was looking at the uh, the salaries of Otto Graham when after Otto Graham's first year, the owner of the team you know had to keep him and you know gave him the night the princely sum of fourteen thousand dollars per year. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Peyton Manning during his days as an NFL player, including in, uh, oh intercepted, including in, 
Yeah. Oh God. Who was that? Intercepted Willie Brown. Wow. Willie Brown with an interception, two first quarter interceptions, turnovers thrown by Peyton Manning. This is a ball game, folks. It's not the offenses. It's the defenses that are coming up big so far. And now Otto Graham right there at the 19 in the red oh, zone. That looks good. Oh. See, Graham it is in the – oh, swatted away. You had Dick yep. LeBeau there. So what I was saying is uh, Peyton Manning alone made $500 million, or $150 million in endorsements. <laughs> Poor Otto. And I was wondering if uh, – we could throw out our first little quiz. Name three. Four, let's say say four commercials that Peyton Manning was a pitch man for. Oh boy! Well, there's the. Oh, that's just incomplete. As Manning got crunched on the way down. There's the. Oh, there's the. Um, uh, uh, wait, on your side, the one. What is it? Na na is that? Because he said, "Ham and cheese taste so good." Remember he would. <laughs> what, what was what it? Whatever it? the insurance, whatever the insurance. What is it? Not Liberty, not Progressive. Uh, da, na, na. Ah, I'm drawing a blank. Who, who's out there? Who knows it? You all, y'all know. Yeah, I'm we'll talking leave about. it. We'll leave it for some people in the. That's uh, gonna drive me nuts. Chat. That's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> State so Farm, State Farm, that. Rick Ross. No, State what farm. are you talking about? No, it's not about. State Farm. No, that's uh, that's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, uh, Matt Mahomes. Good Lord. Yeah. And we're tied at six, folks. Field goal kick there by Benetieri. Uh Man, that's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna, you know, you should never tell me, and I'll, I'll be in a loony bin. I won't. No, it's tell not. You it's not State Farm, Larry. It's not State Farm. How in the heck? No. Uh, what is it? Why am I not able to see the chat? This is making me uh, nuts. Uh, if you're now, if you go to the top, if you have full screen, you have to go to the top sort of right corner. You'll see a little like line and an arrow or something. You have to yeah, click yeah. on it. Nationwide. Okay nationwide is on your side there you go yes there you go love it love it because he would always be yeah ham and bacon taste so good such a guy oh man and he's funny too peyton oh my gosh this saturday even when he was playing his old saturday night live thing where he's throwing the ball at the kids sensational preparation h andrea no (laughs) no i don't know i cannot get to this dang chat Maybe that's Eli. I don't know. Maybe that's. Oh, Cooper. there it is. I see it now. Okay. You got the chat. Go. All right. We got nationwide. We got one. We got, we got three nationwide. more. Three more to go. Wait, can I have diamonds and stuff like that? I can give. Uh, I have a whole oh. bunch of bits. You got a whole bunch of bits. Send some bits. There yeah, you go. Send give, some bits. Throw some bits. Little bit. Little bit. Oh, Manning avoids the sack. Got it away. Intended for Antonio Gates. Brings up third down. Third and ten. From their own 25. I love that we're seeing a shift from teams, Dan, that multiple times were scoring into the 90s and even low 100s this year. Now we're tied at six, still in the first quarter. And Dan's throwing a couple bits in there, folks. There you go. Perfect. And y'all, you can get some bits just top right side. We'll give you a shout out. Support the channel. Click subscribe, follow, share the link, folks. Share the link to this championship game. Pay oh. Manny versus Otto Graham. What else do you want? Oh, it's a fumble. Are you kidding me? Another fumble turnover. That's two interceptions and a fumble recovery. And that is Wilbur Marshall. Will the the backup linebacker. He's in on rotation, gets the fumble, knocks the ball loose and picks it up. The goats in prime position again. Wow. Larry says 500 mil doesn't go far. Oh, Right over and Jason Wynn touchdown and goat strike goats with the touchdown. And it is Jason Witten and score a touchdown for your business with an introductory data assessment from data science and consultants. Check out their website, data sciencing.com. What a score first major of the golden bowl. If you're playing your bingo cards at home is the goats. Oh, Andrew with a hundred bits. Thank you, Andrea. She really showed you up there, Dan. What she what she do? hundred <laughs> bits. She put a hundred, and, and you get a little unicorn with a heart. That's not a unicorn. What is it? A horse? Some like unicorn? some phallic symbol. Wait a minute. <laughs> is it? It says uni one hundred. I think it's a unicorn. <laughs> Your perverted mind, Mister Esposito. All right, let's see what the Fury can do. 
down 13 to six. Obviously, tons of time. We're not even five minutes into this first quarter. Lots of time left. So now we got the fearing that really it's been about Peyton Manning. Uh, two turnovers and not hold on to the football. Big catch, though. And just like that, goes back to old reliable Dan, right? You're in a pinch. You're in football. You go back to what got you there, what's comfortable. And Marvin Harrison is that for Peyton Manning. Sorry, I'm just out doing Andrew on the bits. Uh, oh, bits wow. 100 right 102. there. Oh. Yeah. I don't I even know what this is still. I have no clue, but I'm just going to outbid everybody. Oh, you did a little heart or hand heart. I don't know how to do all that. That's great. Bam. Bit battle. Hashtag bit battle. There we go. Goats with that ferocious attack. And somehow that was caught incomplete right there. And it is now second and five. Nice five yard pickup. Offensive line for the Fury today Larry Little, Jim Tyrer. Joe Jacoby, Alan Feneca, Dwight Stevenson, front line for the GOATs, Alan Page, Coy Bacon, Leroy Selman, Wesley Walls, and you got linebacker Bill George, Sam Huff, Lawrence Taylor, and Larry Zonka. Larry Zonka, Dan, last week, shockingly, he hadn't done anything offensively from a yard production standpoint. Great blocker, but yard production standpoint all year. Larry Zonka picked up over 100 yards on the ground last week and was the running back top performer. How many carries? How many carries? I'm not sure. He had a few. I think it was wonder like I maybe put, eight, nine. why I decided to go with uh, Zonka. I don't know. A good week in practice, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and there's Randy Moss. Always a good week in practice there. Got Moss. Just a stiff arm. Such a smooth athlete. Randy Moss, the Hall of Famer. Another another dichotomy in the earnings. Steve Largent, $1 million per year, his final year. Randy Moss's best year, $27 million. Not bad. I wonder what third his government... to last year as well, by the way. Third to last year. I wonder what Largent's uh, government pension was. Maybe he did better there. And sacked Peyton Manning, inhaled by Wilbur Marshall again. Interesting how these, and Dan, it's kind of like real life. Sometimes you have those unsung heroes, those guys who you're not focusing on, come up with big plays. Wilbur Marshall, fumble recovery, and now a sack on Peyton Manning, bringing up second down at 17. And that defense all moving in, all moving in. Press coverage now backing off. The heat coming. Quick release by Peyton, and it's caught to Harrison. Gain of a few, third and 13. Gain of four, ball in the 24. You got the wide receivers, Randy Moss, Marvin Harrison, Torrey Holtz in there as well. Devin Hester on the returns. Len Barney and Jack Christensen, the Not cornerbacks. Audibleizing here. A lot of audibleizing. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. You're a second ahead of me, I think. Oh, and I a am, big I sack. I, 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 it's tough for me to, <laughs> <laughs> Wilmer Marshall. to remember that. I'm so impetuous. <laughs> we love the emotion. Well, Marshall now two sacks and a fumble recovery. 47 yarder is good. And Dan, I wonder at this pace, if Goats were to win, could we have a shocking defensive, a rare defensive game MVP? That'd be. After, with all the offensive talent, that'd be, that'd be fascinating. How many times has that happened in NFL history? Let's see. We had the Patriots one where uh, with the Seahawks, right? Where uh, they didn't hand it off to poor uh, uh, Marshawn Lynch. Just hand the ball. Yeah. Just hand yep. the ball. Was, uh, was it Malcolm uh, Smith? Stewart? Malcolm? Brown, Malcolm? right? Malcolm Brown. Malcolm Brown. I think yeah. Right, yeah. Right, right there. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Did one of the New oh, York no, Larry, Larry, uh, Wait, not Malcolm Brown. Malcolm... Uh, Malcolm something. Smith? I think... Yeah, Mal uh, no, did he... Uh, he didn't win it, though. No, 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 no. They still gave that MVP to to uh, Golden Boy over there with his really? flowing locks. Yeah, Brady. <laughs> with Brady? I thought yeah, he got the sure MVP. Got no, you I think you're right. talking about the one where Dallas had that uh, Very interception. Back. Larry Brown, right? Oh, maybe that. Maybe I'm getting. Yeah, Larry Brown, and then he got a huge contract with Arizona after that, I believe. Right. I wonder, did Lawrence Taylor and any of the two Giants Super Bowls did he get an MVP? Um, Lawrence Taylor has not won an MVP. If there's anyone to do it, you think it'd be it'd be him? My goodness. I mean, there's a couple names here that you'd be like, who are they even? Are they like early Super Bowls? Um, no, not really. Really? Dexter, Jack De De Dexter Jackson, free safety to Tampa Bay, Super Bowl 37. Oh. 
Okay. Ray Lewis. Super Ray Bowl Lewis. 35. Okay. Yeah. But we got Larry Brown, Super Bowl 30. Richard Dent. Super he's in the 20. AFLL. He's in. He, I forget what team he's on. He's here. Yep. Randy White and Harvey mm-hmm. Martin, both for Super Bowl uh, 12. Okay. And Jake Scott, Super Bowl 7, safety, Miami Dolphins. Jake Scott, he's on. I think he's on the Elite. I think he's on Team Elite. I believe. Lots of MVPs and honors. This is why we're playing, folks. The American Football Legends League, the Golden Bowl, the road to gold has led us to here. Follow us on Twitter at the AFLL, at AndyMC81, at Almighty Espo. That's on Twitter, Instagram as well. You can hit us up there, TikTok. Nice little shuffle by Peyton Manning. First down and more. Marvin Harrison right out of the slot. Just academic. Boom. Quick, nothing fancy. It says, Larry said, lots of Larrys on the field today. Almost like my name is from past generations. Go Larrys. <laughs> Larry. Lots of Larrys. That's right. It's funny how names just kind of fade away quite a bit, you know? You get old, like, but there's not a lot of Jebediahs. Virginia, Virginia right. yeah. Not, not a lot of Jebediahs in the sports world today. Not, not many. I wonder, no. uh, should we do a Google search? Oh. I mean, I'm looking a little oh. Jebediah myself. If Look I... at the sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the Jebediah beard. Sam Huff, middle linebacker for the Goats, just pushed right through Joe Jacoby, the center, and got to Peyton Manning. And that heat is coming hard. And I wonder, Dan, if we start seeing maybe the Fury and Coach John Sullivan thinking maybe I got to pull Peyton Manning back a little bit, maybe a little more shotgun or pistol. Uh, you know, I, it's an interesting thing. I'm watching these these offenses and, you know, comparing it to the offenses that the heroes run. And I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what's their key? What's the magic? Because you look at ratings, you know, I'm, I've got some ratings, you know, a little bit better here. And so maybe they're just uh, finding those little tricks within the game that I'm not able to see. I, I did find one pro athlete named Jebediah. No way. Really? Yeah. What's name the sport. sport. Uh <laughs> Uh, I'll say, you know, I'll say old timey basketball. I'll say, I'll say like <laughs> early so funny, NBA, right? just where you don't dribble, you just pass the whole yeah, time into the yeah, peach yeah. basket. Into uh, the peach basket. That's a great guess. Uh, no, um, a little, a little weirder than that. Oh, high lie? Is it like North America? No, that would be <laughs> Pro wrestling, Jebediah Blackhawk. Tremendous handle. Tremendous handle. And I believe he actually wrestles now. Yeah, he Jebediah wrestles Bl- now. Really. What WWE some overalls and yeah, it doesn't have a beard though, so it's not okay. Truly a Jebediah. Not truly a Jebediah. Oh, look at that! That's truly a sack. I'll tell you that. Eric Berry, the nickel corner blitz is working huge. That's at least the second sack, maybe the third for Eric Berry. Second and twenty now. These defenses are surprising me so much. Not because we didn't know they were talented, Dan, but the offense have been so good that you know you just kind of expect a high scoring ball game. Oh, that was almost a safety. <laughs> almost a safety yeah it's the, this defensive secondary of fury is pretty stellar they've got a 98 rated Wad, rod woodson 98 rated daryl green uh dick lebeau uh 96 eric berry and 95 you got ron a lot of the 99 and john lynch in the 97 i mean you've got a that is probably the strongest secondary that's in the entire league yeah, that's, that's tremendous. Incomplete there. And you saw that secondary, Rod Woodson and Ronnie Lott covering up on Steve Larkin. And Ronnie Lott, one of the defensive MVP candidates, uh, nominees to win the award, along with Lawrence Taylor, who's on the other side for the Goats. And there's Hester. Picks up to the 40. There we go. And we got, uh, let's see, what, what's Larry saying? When I hear those names, I think grandpas. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Otis Anderson and Phil Sims were the gi- early Giant Super Bowl MVPs, so not Lawrence Taylor. Okay. Right. Oh, wait, go. what? Otis oh, Anderson not and Lawrence Phil Taylor. Sims. Right, right. Not right, Lawrence right, Taylor, right. yeah. Yeah, I was confusing Lawrence Taylor and Ray Lewis there for a second. And now you see the kick to that left, and it's caught by Harrison. Grabbed five, so just chipping away, and that's really what you have. Just chip, I mean, chip, good, chipping good away game here. so far. It is 13 to 9. You want a close championship game. You hate those blowouts. And heck, listen, it could still happen. Let's not uh, kid ourselves. Look at that hard shift to the right by the goats there, Dan, and that, that Ooh, push. Defense not... coming in again. Yeah, coming in hot. Do you like is something he pulling on that Peyton right side? Manning. What's he doing here? Oh, I thought he was going to pull Peyton. They got, 
Sam Huff coming in. And, Dan, it looks like they, they like something they see on that right side. Alan Seneca and Dwight Stevenson on that right side. They're overwhelming the right instead of just sort of spreading it out and doing that, that uh, wide six cross. They're really focusing on that right part of the O-line. We see some mix and match yeah, when we on the defense here. You know, as we have this little break in the in the action, you know, I like to throw in my own experience as well. I looked yeah. at the at the game here today, and there are four players that I've either played with, played against, or were coached by. Really? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to throw that out there and see if anyone can figure oh. out who those people were. I Let's played see, can we know which team? and 96 were the years I was – playing around in the league okay are they both on the same team or one on each can we have a clue uh let's see there's two from uh two on each teams two on each okay okay oh and that's a sack another sack sam huff having a heck of a ball game heck of a ball game sam huff and really i guess for the Fury, they're focusing on Lawrence Taylor, rightfully so. They've also picked up Coy Bacon, but Dan, there's only so many bodies out there, and Sam Huff is capitalizing. Beautiful punt. Is that going to stay out of the end zone? Where'd that get down? Oh, no, it got in. Nope, got into the end zone. Yes, got in. And at the end of, at the beginning of the second quarter, we'll have our MVP conversation here. See who wants, who's going to take home the hardware, quarterback, running back, receiver, defense. As we f go for the Golden Bowl, wide six by the Fury. That defense, Otto Graham, Goats still leading 13 to 9. Two seed for the Goats. Jim Thorpe, division champs, throwing it away. Otto Graham to the left. Too much pressure. So, another Otto Graham uh, fact here National Basketball League, the precursor to the NBA, right. won a league championship with the Rochester Royals. He, he, gra he graduated early from high school. Right. Full basketball scholarship to Northwestern. Second leading scorer, junior and senior years in the entire Big Ten. Destroyed everyone in football, obviously. Played two years in the Navy and played service ball. <laughs> what an athlete. Yeah. I mean, the guy is just insanely talented and amazing. Yeah. That's just a pure athlete. Yeah. You just dominate at whatever you do. Third and seven from their own 23. Otto Graham, re in that line, the champion that he is. John Macchiazzi knew some on that right side, large and lone receiver on the left. And you got Tiki Barber, John Johnson, the running backs. Holding him What's the coach record? Deep, back two and two, and it is incomplete. You had Lynch and LeBeau breaking that up. Uh, Goats were 13 and three, Jim Thorpe division champs, and the number two seed. Okay. 13 and three. And Fury 14 and two. As they punch it away. I keep stepping on you because I see the action stop before it actually stops. Uh, so I that's apologize. the yeah. That's okay. That's the that's that's your that's the twitch life, man. You get those, those yeah, yeah. seconds, right? That's it. There's a way to slow oh, it down. Oh, this prestige worldwide sports says Fury's refusal to run the ball is gonna cost them. Goats D line has ears pinned back and they're playing soft zone until the rush gets there. Ah. I like that analysis prestige worldwide sports. Larry's saying these autogram facts are simply stunning. You know what? His contract, at least when I was there, not this past fall for the AFL uh, franchise auction, but years before, probably about five years before, they had his signed contract in the Hall of Fame. To, it, that's why I knew it was that it was that fourteen thousand ish. Dan, they have that written down. Wow! Uh, wow. In the hall, really, right, what, right. it was there. Really cool. And they had the numbers. He started as number sixty, moved to fourteen. And they have his jersey, in, but you can still see the outline of the 60, the numerals taken away, and 14 over top because they were too cheap for new jerseys. That's in the Hall of Fame. So, 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 so in his first year, they, they, they lost two games and they went to the championship. Guess how many yards he threw for in that first year? Oh, how many games? 12, probably? Uh, they probably paid 10 to 12 games back 10 to then. 12? Yeah. I don't know, 3,000? Less. <laughs> it's but, stunning actually uh, 1800. 1800 so but 17 touchdowns with just 1800 yards like and fewer guys games. throw for five ten thousand yards and throw 17 touchdowns yeah so, 
pretty interesting stat. It's it's wild. He's yeah, ten champion every year going to the, like imagine like that's better than Tom Brady. I know people can't wrap their heads around that, but that's that's incredible. Four yard run, statistically better than Tom Brady. Yeah, but if he had to play a season like Tom Brady, throwing the ball as much and you know, we, who's sixteen just, right? games, and, and that's why in the American Football Legends League we have these era adjustments and, and we're able right. to see this type of dream matchup. And one day Tom Brady will reside here. Uh, who knows when the heck that will be, but it will be yeah. at, at some point. It, it's definitely going to be after this season. It feels like it. He's got that. Yeah, no Marshall Falk running. Ooh, fourth and in inches. And maybe John Sullivan, head coach of Fury, heard Prestige Worldwide Sports saying, hey, they're not running the ball. And Marshall Falk got that in, but they were held. And not going for it on fourth and in inches. Interesting here, Dan. Fourth and in inches, you're that close. You take the field goal. I've been there so many times. <laughs> it's so and come back with an interception or a fumble or right? just don't get in, and then the other guy burns me long on the first play because I'm so angry. I'm sending the entire team, and they just lob it over my head. And you know, at that point, this the the the, 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 <laughs> the game falls apart for me. <laughs> Prestige worldwide. Prestige worldwide says field goal on fourth and inches. That's a Mike McCarthy move. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that, that's a charmed life. Mike McCarthy being a head coach. My goodness. Auto Graham avoids the pressure, and it is incomplete. Thrown into double covered. Failed to click. Again, you got those high. You got those safeties, Dan. You got Ronnie Lott and John Lynch. Yeah, uh, you, you know, I, I don't know how many balls are getting through double covered in that. But those two, my goodness. Auto Graham three step drop. Wait, surveys the field. Throws it away. Left side. Happy to throw it away. Buck 22 to go in the first quarter. 13, 12 coats. We got a close one here, folks. In the Golden Bowl. The road to gold has led here. We are in beautiful Fury Stadium. We had Matt Cardinal, singer of the award-winning country band, the Prairie State, sing us both national anthems. We'll talk about the MVPs coming up. And we'll actually talk, Dan, we'll talk to the game-winning, the championship-winning head coach of either team, Goats or Fury, immediately following the conclusion of this game perfect we'll get them live on the look at him on the horse. making Ooh. some well wait till you see this next play hester, oh hester <laughs> makes a man miss yes <laughs> almost to the 40. hester is a stud he gets in and out of his breaks quick it's dropping some ankles now dan there hasn't been i don't there hasn't been a punt or kick return for a touchdown this year i don't think I mean, not even past, I think, 15 yards, right? Yeah. And I'm not sure what the longest was, yeah. But That'd Hester be would be the guy. To do it, yeah. Or, or our it, buddy yeah. Eric Metcalf, too. Metcalf, correct. And that is through. Whoa, that's, that's going for a big shot right away. Why not? Fury trying to test that GOAT secondary, which the defense is still good, not as formidable as the Fury, of course, but. Oh, Commissioner Max in the house saying great game so far. Absolutely. And look, wow, Dan, again, yep. again, that shift, that hard shift to that right, really overwhelming, trying to overwhelm that right side, see if it works again. Manning steps back. <sighs> Line is holding well. It's holding well. It's back. It's deep. One on one. It is oh, incomplete. Wow. <sighs> oh, boy. Randy Moss, Lem Barney, one on one. And Barney came away with it. Wow. So what's he doing? Is he pushing himself over to to Fanica and Dwight Stevenson side, Stevenson side? That's or what what's his, what's... That's, that's how I see it. Yeah, they're trying to really overwhelm that right side. And interesting. Yeah, we'll see if you know maybe Man, uh, Manning's calling for Falk and Zonka into cover into a pass protection. Let's see. Now he's he's under center. Okay, got Zonka as the fullback there. And that right shift. So I wonder if they're going to try. Now, if it's me, Dan, I'm calling the play. I'm trying to do a, maybe a, a flip out so to now that he's left. Coming over to the, oh, now, okay. Now, here, the here, here, left right. side. Now he's going left. Yeah, he's I don't think that's where the strength is. If I'm looking at this Ooh. right, I'm not sure how he's got his line his line lined up Manny. there, but I think he's got Larry. It's caught! Randy Moss! He just wow. mossed. Yeah, Larry. Go right in his face. <laughs> oh! 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Randy Moss got beat by Barney the first time, came back with a huge reception as Manning just stood tall in that pocket like he was had cement shoes just standing there, and he made it work. 
Lock is that, that, uh, Yale Larry was only the fifth defensive back to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Interesting. And the second to be inducted for both uh, punting and de and defensive play. The first was slinging Sammy Ball. Sammy Ball. Second a goal, yeah. gain a two on the ground by Marshall Falk. We know Falk, Hall of Fame, Super Bowl champ, 13 years at the Colts and Rams, seven-time Pro Bowler. He's one of those guys, Dan, end of the first quarter, 13-12 for the Goats. Marshall Falk, like, in my head, I know he was great because he's in the Hall of Fame. But when you go back and look what he's done, I don't know if he's necessarily as appreciated as he should be. Like, he was awesome. It, it, he not only was awesome, he, he was really a – student of the game where yeah. previously he had a little bit of a lazy streak and he tells this story actually on how he missed an assignment because he kind of half-assed it because the game was kind of over and it it it's when Kurt Warner got got hurt or no oh. was it Kurt Warner I believe or no whoever came in for Kurt whoever Kurt Warner came in for um, oh okay because Kurt Warner was not the starter in those those seasons with the Rams. I uh, can't remember who it was, but he said he'll never. He said it was his fault that the, the starting quarterback got hurt, and that was a year they were. Maybe it was Mark. It was Mark. Oh, was it Trent Green? Jamie here no, saying Trent Green. No, I don't think it was Trent Green. Trent King, I think came. Was it Trent Green? I don't. I'm not know. sure. Yeah, it might Field be. Field goal is good. Green. Twenty-two yarder for the Fury. And now the Fury take the lead, 15-13. We see another lead change. And, folks, beginning of the second quarter, that means are you, hesitant, are you hesitant about what play to make for your business? If you are, contact data science consultants for an introductory data assessment to develop a roadmap to turn your business's data into usable information. Track relevant KPIs and metrics to effortlessly view the health of your business. Go to datasciencing.com for more. Click like here folks click follow click subscribe get some bits throw some cheers in the bits share the stream get the word we're in the golden bowl baby andy mcnamara that's me that's dan esposito let's do this winner takes home the inaugural golden bowl the championship and look at largent streaking over the middle catch and just turned on those jets rumbled right to midfield dan did you ever see the movie um semi-pro will ferrell and the basketball the basketball movie Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, you, you know what's funny? I don't like many sports movies, but that was that. a great sports movie. Yeah. I, I rewatched it the other day, and I started laughing. I thought, I wish I would have called this championship the Mega Bowl, so we could just we could both just come in and be Mega Bowl, Mega Bowl, Mega Bowl. Just just yank it. Shh, Mega Bowl. <laughs> it means nothing. Mega Bowl. Just so good. Now, now uh, since we're here and I love facts, how did we come up with the Golden Bowl? Well, I'll tell you, Dan. I uh, I wanted to call it like the Golden Cup or something. I was looking. I was like, ah, that name's taken. Wait till you see the trophy. I got a view of it today. We'll have to wait to see who goes on it. But when that's revealed, glorious by our buddies at Trophy Smack. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just yeah. sensational. And by the way, August 12 to 14 in Canton, Ohio, we're going to be at the Fantasy Football Expo. We'll talk to our buddy Bob Long. You can see that on the uh, AFLL YouTube page, my interview with him, as Larchin rumbles past the 30, puts his shoulder down, first down, move those chains, please. And um, what are those Trophy Smack again? is going to be there. Uh, August 12 to 14. So UFS Sports is going to be there. I'm going to be there. Jamie Thomas is going to be there. We're going to have some others down there. You're welcome as well, Dan, of course. It's in Canton. Um, but Trophy Smack is going to be there as well. Other great fantasy football insiders. Michael Fabiano is going to be there from Sports Illustrated. Mike Clay from ESPN. Uh, fantasy football. Uh, fantasy football. There's a whole bunch of guys. I got discount hotel rates too from the Marriott that uh, Bob gave me. So if anybody wants it. Let me know. Very cool. Seven C says go Fury. Seven C's in the house. Ownership. Is that an interception? It is. And it's Ron Woodson. Woodson. Wow. Woodson coming in with the turnover in the end zone. Phenomenal. Rod, Rod Woodson had been sort of around, kind of peppering a little bit. And he picked off Otto Graham. Turnover ball to the eight. What a play as Peyton Manning takes up under center at the eight. Prestige Worldwide Sports in the chat saying, well done, Fury, starting to pound the rock. Soon as they pick up a couple first, the goats will have to get away from their nickel and dime sets. Yeah, got to try to mix it up where you can. Pressure holding. Ooh. And, and Dan, if you saw that, Larry Zonka, or rather um, John Johnson, actually. No. Yeah, Larry Zonka just 
picked up that blitz for a moment and allowed Peyton that extra second to get rid of the ball. Great block there by Zong. And now we look again with that right shift. Ooh. Now, if it's me, I can't see it yet, Dan. <laughs> oh, what a miss! That's why you said ooh. Oh. That's so funny. That was a that was a in a phone booth uh, Texas crazy. two step. Sorry. That was a little, man, yeah. turn on Peyton that Manning ain't that fast. So let's talk to Danny he, about that. He's nimble, I'm baby. He's nimble. Peyton Manning. <laughs> he's nimble. I guess. Yeah. Oh man. And there's going to be Actually, both. Lots of improvements to the game coming. I talked to Danny the other week. He said, wait till you see this game. And we're going to be able to try it out in August. All the AFL owners, so can't wait for that. Yeah. Now, you would mentioned something about now teams uh, can play uh, Danny's game online as our teams now. There's a, yes, a, a, yeah, so a we're, tournament. Yeah, so we're going to be setting up a tournament over the next little bit um, where people can actually pay to play. So Larry bringing the ball back there. Another Larry in the house. Um, and so we're going to work that in and have it as a scouting ground as well for AFL teams. Like, Hey, maybe, maybe someone jumps out and really wows you and you can maybe bring on, use it as a recruiting ground for coaches. That's going to be coming. Oh, Jamie wants to know the MVP winners. Yes. Thank you, Jamie. I almost forgot about that. Hello everybody. Our new viewers. Welcome. Golden bowl fury. Let's do a quick reset here as that ball swatted down and nicely done there by that stack secondary. For the Fury, that was John Lynch as Otto Graham is taken over from the 49. You have the Fury, 14-2, and two, number one overall seed, Tony Dungy, division champs. First round bye and defeated the Immortals in a great win last week. And the Goats, 13-3, and three, the number two seed, Jim Thorpe, division champions, defeat the Time Bandits and the Anvils. Otto Graham under center. Tiki Barber, John Johnson on the left and right hip. Makes a man miss. Complete to Largent to the 30. A 20-yard gain, and Dan, it's nice and simple. Just that little cut there, I've enlarged right over the middle, a little down and in backyard football. Yep. Complete and move the chains. All right, let me. Uh, I'm gonna step away for one second. Our our future sponsor, Domino's, just showed up. Oh, there you go. Hey, we'll have to know what Zaw you got. There you are. Okay, Dan. Oh, we got Andrea. The bit wars are back. The bit battles. And we're gonna get the. Oh, look at Otto Graham. Just taken down. Derek Thomas just doesn't care. Gore to the ribs of Otto. We're going to go over uh, the MVP candidates. Here, I'm just going to bring them up. They've been on social media. Now, how we worked it was the owners were able to vote, of course, as were the administrators, commissioner, head of sports, all that good stuff. But we also put the fan poll out, and those fan votes on Twitter counted as two votes. Two votes, so we'll see if any of those come up for it. There's Andrea with a little little emoji wave. Hello. Third and 20. There we go. Oh, Rick Rock, 369. Dan, the bit battles are on. Four. Four bits by Rick Rock, 369. <laughs> it's getting crazy. What is he talking? I'm 102 up, so if someone's got to get to 102 to outbit me. Larry said, don't tip the pizza man, Espo. Save it for the bit battle. Oh, it's too late. Larry, we're I, I was previously a delivery man for Papa John's. Oh, okay. I prefer Domino's. Uh, the Papa John's connection in this game is what? Peyton Manning. That's right. Before the Papa John's guy got a little uh, off track. He, he's, he's, <laughs> he's poisoning himself with gluten, I think. He got, a off, his, he got a little off track. Yeah. He looks so weird. He looks so, I, I'm telling you, it's too much pizza. You got to be, you know. You got to get the good, the goodness of Domino's. With the, of, with the amount of pizza that you eat. And, you know, unfortunately, I'm a Domino's guy. Or fortunately, I'm, I'm right. a Domino's guy. Not a uh, Papa John's guy. I'm a Domino's guy. That's right. I think the whole league is a Domino's league. It should be a Domino's league. I, I, I love the uh, hand toss thin crust myself. Yeah. You know, I like now. You know what? I've gotten away from my, my crunchy baby spinach because you said spinach isn't good, despite That's what right. Pop I said. So I've moved away. I've now gone red and green pepper with some ham as my topping on a hand tossed thin. Spam. And not spam. No, ham. Ham. Oh, they said spam. I gotta put Hell spam no. on the pizza. Hell no. You know, I'm gonna make another case because you know I'm a health guy. Okay. On why pineapple is absolutely a pizza topping, but it's oh, also oh, oh. that's absolutely a sack there, them. Dan. That's absolutely yeah. a sack by Sam Huff. Good lord. Sam Huff likes pineapple on his pizza. I'm sure he does. Another one. Pineapple 
will help break down biofilm in your body if you've had um, surgeries. And the enzymes also break down the biofilm, which kind of sticks your muscles together, causes glue. But it's used as a um, pineapple powder is used as a, as a commercial meat tenderizer. Isn't that well, interesting? So, so pineapples is good. Helps keep your muscles loose. Okay, I like, you know, I like pineapple juice poured on a vanilla frozen tequila. yogurt. Ooh. Oh, that too. Oh, or, or tequila. I'll do that. <laughs> That's a better everything better good combo. tequila. Amen. Tequila and bourbon. I'll come down. I'll support you if, you, if that quad holds up. I'll go on the bourbon trail. Who's with me, people, in the chat? Who wants to do yeah, a little bourbon trail? Qu- support Dan. Yeah, I'm, my, I've, my goal was to be the national champion this year, and I just haven't been able to... Uh, I didn't. I wasn't able to run in Mid Atlantic Championships, but I'm gunning for the nationals. That is uh, very impressive, sir. We will be rooting. Keep us up to date. We'll be rooting you on. Okay. Oh, Rick Rock three six nine says they grow in your front yard. Our front yard down here. Pineapples. That's awesome. Interception. Oh, interception for the Fury. A turnover with this tight game. Sixteen fourteen. Goats lead, and the Fury with an interception. So we've seen multiple INTs. Who, who got that? Was that uh, who, who picked that off, Larry? Uh, oh, I'm trying to see. I, I, it looked. I had the screen zoomed out for the, the chat, so I couldn't see. I wanted to say Eric Berry, but I might be wrong if anybody saw. And yeah. the goat's coming right back. Sam Hop, stop it. Peyton Manning has a family, has a career. Sam Hop, please. I'm surprised. Uh, you know, one of the players I did play with was Daryl Green. I'm pretty sure I was faster than him. Anyway, oh. he. Uh, <laughs> not really. Um, he, uh, I don't think he's got any interceptions this year. I don't remember calling a game, seeing him get a pick. I don't, I don't, we, you know what? Hey folks, the great thing is we have all the stats. Randy Moss makes a man miss to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, another man, two man miss, touchdown Moss, touchdown for Fury, Randy Moss. So effortlessly does a shuffle celebration, stiff arms, high steps, makes three men miss and the Fury strike. With a major 23 to 16, and score a touchdown for your business with an introductory data assessment from Data Science and Consultants. Check out their website, datascience.com. Unbelievable catch and run. And Dan, that's just how dynamic these defenses, these offenses are. You stop, you hesitate for one sec, and you get Moss. Yeah. And this wow. is the problem here when it comes to how I coach. That makes me want to just throw the next ball bomb. And then the next one after that as well. And then the next one after that. Just go so for it. You got to be patient here. Keep playing your game. You're still in the game. A lot of time left in the second, oh, second my. quarter. So oh, we'll yeah. See, uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Larry says, wow, Randy Moss adds another one to the highlight reel. Unbelievable season and game. And uh, he's in the conversation actually for the MVPs. And Dan, why don't we talk about some of those MVPs? Um, right. Do you have the nominees in front of you or do you want me to? Yeah. Let's go pull them up right now. I put it in your Telegram chat. Do you want to start with uh, quarterback or MVP? Yeah. Let's start with quarterbacks. Let's quarterback? start with quarterbacks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So who do you got? Read the nominees and then I'll tell you who. Uh, what the final result is. Sure. Are. So we've got Peyton Manning, 15,626 yards, 143 touchdowns, 50 interceptions. Brett Favre, 14,869 yards, 152 touchdowns, 38 interceptions. Interesting. Autogram, 14,415 yards, 44 interceptions. Joe Montana, 12,000 yards, 97 touchdowns, 41 interceptions. Do you want me to make my pick, who I think is the MVP? Yeah, who would you want for MVP? I mean, I'm going to – I mean, I'm pretty sure Peyton Manning's going to win the MVP, but I'm an autogram guy now. I mean, that's just (laughs) my guy. Yeah. He's got a hell of a career and, and all those facts. It's just a great story. Yeah. It is a great story. Actually, listen, so the owners voted and the fan vote also voted. The public wanted, the owners wanted, the MVP for quarterback. Congratulations to Brett Favre of the Immortals. Brett what? Favre of the Immortals. My is face right there should MVP. be a meme. <laughs> what the heck? Let me see Eric Berry with the sack. Eric Berry with the sack there. At Brett Favre, Immortals, MVP, 42% of the votes, Dan, yeah. plus the public fan vote, which got him two more. So Brett Favre is the MVP. Phil Beavis, congratulations. 
Good job, Phil. Phil. in the chat. Yeah, MVP Brett Favre. Hey, you know what? You look at it, less interceptions, right? Yeah, they, yeah, totally, which is, yeah. It was an interesting balance. You had all that. Uh, I mean, and he had, it's funny, the receivers he was throwing to weren't the best receivers we have in the league, but he utilized them really well. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, heck of seasons, and look, you got Peyton Manning and Otto Grimm battling for the Golden Bowl, so certainly no shame there. So, that's who it is with 921 to go, 2316 Fury up on the GOATs. And in the I formation, you got Johnson the in the fullback role, and Tiki Barber, autogram under center. Don't forget about Ozzie Newsom too, folks. Ozzie Newsom is an incredible talent and has had a great year as well. We'll wait till this play, and then we'll get to the running back. And odd, oh, pressure coming. He got rid of it in time. Caught over the middle. And there's who? Who is that? Kaufman. That was a I couldn't big, see who caught that. That was a big time completion right over the middle. And as Otto Graham had pressure come, but let's let's go to the running back nominees here, Dan. Who you got for the running backs? So, running backs: Barry Sanders. I mean, you know, once again being a running back is this <laughs> reminds me of Otto Graham's first year in the league. Anyway, <laughs> nineteen hundred eighteen total yards, eleven touchdowns. Barry Sanders, <laughs> sixteen hundred. The uh, total yards, Jim Brown, 14 touchdowns. Sorry. Eric Metcalf. Our guy. Our guy. 1,000 total yards, 17 touchdowns. Marshall Falk, 1,154, 15 touchdowns. Eric Dickerson, 1,080 total yards, 10 touchdowns. I mean, Eric Metcalf is our guy all day. 17 touchdowns. That's who I'm going with. That's who it should be. Whoever else is shows up as one is wrong if it's not Eric Metcalf. <laughs> Let's see. The owners voted, and he also won the popular fan vote on Twitter. It's Eric Metcalf of Bayou. Eric Metcalf, yes. my guy. Yes. There he is. Yes. Eric how Metcalf. how well how how much did he win by? Forty six percent of the vote via the oh. owners, and then a couple more. So really, if you added that, he probably was 49 percent. So a very right. nice appreciation. I'm gonna have to tell Eric after this. He'll be excited. We'll share that on social media with him. That Eric awesome. Metcalf, MVP. What a what a guy. Yeah great ambassador for us and really my uh my first favorite cleveland brown uh one of my first bernie coaster and then eric metcalf right after him. he was a rookie in 89 uh so ha that, that's great eric metcalf mvp for bail so congratulations to bail yeah i just want to throw this in there um my son who's four got the mvp of his he got the trophy today oh of his little of his little league quick ball league yeah nice and you i was also coach so you coached him up he was getting it anyway yeah <laughs> <laughs> but he deserved it he earned it yeah yeah <laughs> actually we the, the league didn't do participation trophies or any trophies this year so i ordered it special for him there you go give him the mvp yeah. you know what hey dan if the fury win this rod woodson might be making a case for an mvp that's his second interception of the game on wow. Otto Graham. rod woodson with the turnover ball to 29 fury up 23 16 you can put not a finishing blow by any stretch, 8.39 to go in the second quarter, but a real dominant play if they can find that end zone. And it is caught. Randy Moss grabs six as he is taken down by Lem Barney. Second and four from the 35. You got Moss wide left. Antonio Gates moved over to that right side. We see the shuffling on defense. Yeah, What's he doing? He's running a, I don't know. He looks like he's running a goal line defense. Yeah. Coming in real tight. Maybe feeling a run. Maybe feeling Marshall Falk's going to get a hit here. Second and four. Peyton Manning. Little Omaha going on. Oh, didn't work. And J Jack Christensen. Christensen comes in with the sack. And he has been the quarterback drives on these two defenses, Dan. have been really something we haven't seen all year that consistently. These people are sending the secondary to the house getting those extra attackers. And he was actually Jack Christensen, also 49ers head coach from 1963 to 67 before taking the head coaching job for Stanford. And he gets another sack after being a six time all pro in his eight year career, all with the Lions, three time NFL champ with the Lions. And he retired and then uh, you know, went off he went. Jim, head coach. Died young, though, 57. 
Sorry, had a technical difficulty. No problem. Yeah, Christensen died young, 57, a heck of a career. As we see the goats take over here, 23 to 16. So no harm done on that turnover. They get the ball back now out of the eye. John Johnson lead back Tiki Barber behind him. Goats have been have been the team that have run the ball the least this season. Barely, they go full game sometimes without running it at all. And lots of congratulations coming in for Eric Metcalf. Larry says, congrats, Eric. Amazing season on and off the field. An ambassador for AFLL. Well-deserved MVP honors. Also did a lot of talking with his playing. Must see TV when Metcalf gets the ball. Amen. And Beavis gets congratulations as well for Brett Favre. And there's Otto Graham. Slicing it over the middle and broken up by Jack Lambert. We haven't talked enough, I don't think, Dan, about the linebackers for the Fury. Mike Singletary, Hall of Fame. Jack Lambert, nine-time Pro Bowler, four-time Super Bowl champ, Hall of Fame. You got Harry Carson floating around there, too. Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough to talk about the defense so much when you've got the offenses running up so many scores, and we talk about, you know, these MVPs and these long, long plays, and it's kind of the excitement of the league, but the defense is, um, you know, outside of these games where you've got the elite games, those defenses really – uh, kind of handled some of the lesser Ooh. teams. The teams Look at make the playoffs this You're year. You're right. 25, 20. Largent almost broke away like Randy Moss. And he broke two tackles, but not that third. Brings Otto Graham in this Goats offense into the red zone. Now at the 20 in Fury territory. Going back to that eye. We'll get back to the MVP talk in a moment. Jamie saying Eric followed me on Twitter, so he's my MVP. <laughs> Eric's a great follow. Big Texas Longhorn guy, of course, still holds track and field records at the University of Texas. And you got Largent on that inside, really keeping it tight here, keeping Largent in the slot, and he's had success over the middle. Now you look at the Fury defense. You got Jack Lambert. Now he's pinching in, and he's scooted to that right side. Open look, and it is caught coming right over the middle. Steve Largent, touchdown, Goats! Largent, you could read that. He came in. Just found that slot spot as the defense cleared to the right, and it is a touchdown for the Goats. And, Dan, don't look now. 6.45 to go. Extra point is good. And we're all tied up at 23 in the Golden Bowl. Yeah, that's 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 that patience. You know, don't try to take too much too yeah. soon after you get scored on back there, especially, you know, with the, the way, the, you know, the turnover. And So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, – a game that looks like gonna, when we go into the second half, it's going to be a tight game. So we've got six minutes left here. And, but anything can happen, right? We've got oh. six minutes really can last 15 minutes here. Um, so there could be a number of big plays, and one of these teams could, could jump out before the, before the half. Well, folks, score a touchdown for your business with an introductory data assessment from Data Sciencing Consultants. Check out their website, datasciencing.com, as Peyton Manning and the Fury – try to respond and we've seen turnovers from both these hall of fame legendary quarterbacks the defenses have been sensational just about everything as we will conclude the inaugural season in the american football legends league in the golden bowl manning taking down the ankles and christensen again and it almost looked like manning escaped but he just got enough tied up those those feet and took him down that's about three or four sacks in the last couple minutes for christensen yeah, I'm, uh, I'm over here checking out our sponsor. Oh, there you go. Data Science Consultants. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, our fake sponsor, Domino. Soon to be real next year. Next year. I'll work on my guys. Yeah, Data Science and Con Consultants. Uh, Peter did some great work for us on the algorithm spreadsheet side in all of our sports leagues. So we thank him very much. We're living uh, proof. He does some great work, and he can help your business. That's for darn sure. Yeah, I mean, I should give him my spreadsheet so he can data science up my, there you uh, go. my team a little bit. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. See where Just I go. can uh, outnumber people. Well, there's going to be a lot of changes to the, the AI, the game design, the look, uh, the player motions, the animations, all that stuff. Quarterback play availability coming up next year. So I'll be excited to see when Danny uh, shows us. And actually, Dan, at that Fantasy Football Expo that – will be at, and UFF Sports will be represented at, myself included, uh, in August, August 12 to 14 in Canton, Ohio. We will have, Danny told me, we will have the trailer, which will be several minutes long, of the new 
access football game. So we'll actually get to have a sneak peek on how this thing is going to look. So if you're going to be in Canton or want to come, you know, stop on by, hop on. Going to be they got guest speakers. There's going to be uh, uh, interactive. There's going to be flag football. I'm guaranteed. I'm going to pull something, Dan. It's going to be a, a hammy quad rolling ankle something, but I'm going to go hard. I'm sure that there's going to be some players there that we can talk to about being ambassadors as well. Ooh. Someone's going to bring some guys. Someone's right? got a pop. I'm sure. I'm sure there are. But you got Michael Fabiano yeah. from Sports Illustrated, Mike Clay, Phil saying the championship team said that was included for the changes. Comp. Oh yeah, yeah. But Phil, congratulations on Brett Favre being the MVP for the quarterbacks. Heck of a group and a great season for the Immortals. Out of the eye again. And the goats really keeping that offense tight. And Steve Largent, I wonder, Dan, if we're going to see that right to left that's worked so well for Steve Largent right here in the goats. And he hooks out to the right this time. Otto Graham not seeing it now. Yes. No, incomplete. And yet, yeah, had, had that being read very nicely by Dick LeBeau. The All right, let's get back to the MVPs. Let's go to receiver, Dan. You got the receivers up. Ooh, okay. For <clears throat> MVP, yeah. Lots of talent. So many choices. It's, uh, I believe there is five. <laughs> so we got Jerry Rice. We'll just go. We'll just 4,700 yards, 27 touchdowns. Jason Witten, 3,800 yards, 43 touchdowns. Ooh, and this Carol game. Owens, my favorite receiver of all time, 4,194 yards, 54 touchdowns. Listen, oh. Immortals has two guys as their MVPs, which I don't know. What I was talking about earlier when I said they don't have a lot of to throw to. <laughs> thinking of when they're throwing to uh, who's that social media star? Steve, with Steve Smith. No, the other guy that he's got, uh, Decker, Eric Decker. Oh, Decker. Wasn't he on the Immortals? I believe he uh, was. I think so. I don't remember. But Phil, anyway, Phil Jackie Kansas. Smith, 3,500 yards, 28 touchdowns. Randy Moss, 3,400 yards, 36 touchdowns. It has to be Tara Lowens. Um, he is, in my eyes, the second greatest receiver of all time behind Jerry Rice. Behind Jerry Rice. Fourth and two from the 37. Large and stop just short. Nice tackle by Mike Singletary to make sure the goats are forced into the punting formation. And they'll do that. And they'll go into the end zone. Fury ball. Great. Some nice representation from the teams. Two from the Immortals. Moss from the Fury. Uh, Jackie Smith from Fancentric Frenzy. Our good buddies, Garrett Jones. Fancentric Frenzy. You guys getting squeeze in one of my receivers in there? The Tony I mean, Gonzalez. The I know. I know. It's tough. When you Jeez. look at the stats... That the numbers they just just missed out, but the receiver <laughs> who got the most votes, Dan, the most votes. Oh boy, in a dominant way, fifty-eight percent of the votes, Terrell Owens, MVP. Oh, nice. Good job, Phil. There you go, Phil, with two MVP award honors. You have to I carry on the heart. Protecting there. those guys in the future draft in the next. I draft. would think so. Sacked yeah. by Christensen, Dan. There is something the goats like on that right side. They are absolutely sprinting in. And attacking Dwight Stevenson again. We, we talk about that right side overwhelming the right. Now it's Jack Christensen coming in with those cornerback blitzes all the time. Yeah, it's interesting. What Another in the heck is this? He's off sides, isn't he? Oh, they said Decker is on time bandits. Oh, is that what? Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna forget this first season after we wrap up here today. Yeah, a lot of but, a lot of hey, frustrating days. Nights. You know what though? All the stats live at ufsports.com slash AFLL. So you can go back, you can see the standings, you can see the stats, the schedules, the write-up, the game stories that our own Jamie Thomas did such a great job. The game recaps for everything and relive it if you wish or if you're dead. Not, not, hey, you still won what? Eight games, seven games? Uh, something like that. Seven and nine? Not, yeah, you, you know. I think. Uh, you, you, you don't uh, want to be Jeff Fisher long-term. You don't want the seven <laughs> and nine BS. But I not mean, bad. We'll see. We'll Better see what happens some. next year. With all yeah. those adjustments and all that. But Phil bringing home two MVP honors. Terrell Owens, best receiver. And Brett Favre, MVP for the quarterbacks. 4.05 to go in the second quarter. Tied at 23. And would you expect anything less out of the one and two seeds? Phil saying, Immortals roll in the MVPs. He'll never forget year one. No way, man. Hey, you keep those, those honors nice and close. And Dan, you know what? As the GOATs take over... From their own 20. Uh, let's go oh, as the defense. You see the pinch in Jack Lambert and Singletary. Watch out. Those two killers. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go defensive MVPs here. Let's go defensive MVPs. Let's list them out. Yeah. This one shouldn't even be close. But we've got 
I'm going to go backwards. We got Ronnie Lott, nine interceptions, six sacks, 170 tackles. For the Fury? Uh, Art Donovan for Fury, 83 sacks, five forced fumbles, 99 tackles for the Anvils. Anvils. Reggie White, 88 Ooh. sacks, 11 forced fumbles, 99 tackles. That's 88 sacks, 11 forced fumbles, and 99 tackles. Rodney Harrison, uh, 14 interceptions, two touchdowns, and 121 tackles for Time Bandits. And Lawrence Taylor, 113 sacks. That's 30 more or so than Reggie White. Four interceptions, 152 tackles. That's 53 more tackles wow. than Reggie White. I'm pretty sure Lawrence Taylor is our defensive MVP. Boy, uh, it, tough to argue. I like the blend, though, there, Dan, because you have, you have Rodney Harrison at Time Bandits, led the league in interceptions at 14, and he wasn't even really utilized the first two games, so even more impressive. Ronnie Lott, who's playing for the Fury here, a nice blend of sacks and interceptions and tackles. Reggie White, of course, what can you say about him? Art Donovan, heck of a season, too. But, Dan, you are right. But it was closer than you would think. Lawrence Taylor with the GOATs, 47% of the votes. However, Rodney Harrison won the public fan votes, which garnered him two extra votes. So he was in second at 40%. Wow. wow. So I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy case to make for Harrison, absolutely. Yeah, led the league in, in interceptions. But yeah, yeah, the dominance. So it was close, but Lawrence Taylor takes home the defensive MVP honors. And, and why not? Uh, when I tell Dick Buckus that he wasn't even nominated, he's going to kill oh me. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, you where is Buckus the most to get going? valuable uh, Weiner oh. award? Oh, they're shocking. <laughs> uh, I think I think we know who wins that, which coach wins that one, right? I don't want to say you, my friend. I don't want to. You're the most – listen, you're, you're going to be the future digital man of the year. Yeah, right. <laughs> We can't t- listen. I-, I honestly want to say, at some point when you're healthy, we- we'll figure out you and Walt Harris and the winner. If everybody in the chat, let's agree to this: whoever wins in a foot race, whatever the length between Walt Harris and Dan Esposito, who are two still physical specimens, post playing career, so you, whoever you wins see. that will have the Digital Man of the Year award in their honor in the AFLO. Jack Christensen gets another sack. My goodness, I think that's fair. And I think I. Sh- I think the winner should also get the pick of the Digital Man of the Year award. Is oh, in that, at yeah, least in that what? first year. I agree. Just in the first year. I yeah. agree. No, I think that's I think that's absolutely fair. But but that means that <laughs> oh, what's Phil <Phil's> saying? <laughs> I'll take the winner award also. Oh, the wider award. award. Yeah, wider yeah, yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. Send them your send us your chat. No. Send it. We'll compare. It, 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 <laughs> is that going to be our our version of the Sacco? Be, You're right, right. Whoever sends me the most DMs complaining gets the wonderful. We call the Bum Phillips Award. The Bum oh, Phillips Award. 23 all, folks. 242 to go in the second. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. LT for the GOAT, says Larry. Yeah. And you know what's interesting, too? So I know there's some wrestling fans. And if you're old school, you'll remember this. Lawrence Taylor defeated Bam Bam Bigelow at WrestleMania 11 in 1995, in, a, in one of the main events of WrestleMania 11. Wasn't a pretty I match. Think, I think this Domino's Habanero sauce is defeating me. Mango Habanero sauce is defeating me right now. Can you see me? Am I glossing up a little okay. bit? Is it hot? Man, oh man, I need powder. Powder me up, somebody. <laughs> You're sweating. Yeah. That, I've never had the Habanero. I like their um, I like the ranch. Ooh. Yeah. It's hot, huh? Okay. Got some garlic sauce as well. Ooh. Dan's breath uh, would not be award-winning right now. <laughs> I'm not kissing anyone. <laughs> Time Bandit say congrats to all the MVPs. Yeah, Time Bandit say your guy, Ron Harrison, just just missed out, did win the fan vote. So for the public fan vote, you can thank your, Ooh, your fans on Twitter. Ooh, look at this play. Oh, safety. Well, hold on now. Jack Lambert. Lambert scorched in. That's it. I wonder if that could be... A bit of a game-changing moment. Jack Lambert, nine-time Pro Bowler, four-time Super Bowl champ Hall of Famer with the sack and the safety on Otto Graham. And actually, one uh, – oh, uh, Phil saying, we'll never forget the hanging cross earring LT. Oh, yeah, just classic. Yeah, it could be the turning point, yeah. Well, hey, and we mentioned this earlier in the season, Dan, but I wonder if our 
viewers remember this. Autogram still, to this day, still holds the highest winning percentage for NFL quarterbacks with a minimum of 50 starts. Yeah. To this day, 814. The dude wins. Yeah, I mean, he only played until he was 30. He played played 10 years. 10 years. 33. Had over 50 starts. Best all time. (laughs) Every year a championship. Every year. Uh, seven of those years there, and then the winning percent. Phenomenal. Let's see who number two is. R.I.P. Bam Bam. Yeah, Larry, one of the greats. Brady's got to be up there, I'm sure. But uh, oh, oh, did Manny get away? No, he didn't. Chris Christensen gainer rolled and got those ankles. Gave him a little tug. Two twenty-two to go. Second and fourteen from their own fifteen is the Fury. All right, let's see. Or twenty-five, twenty-three. Though. Listen, I need Daryl LaMonica in this league immediately. Who's Daryl LaMonica? The, the uh, second all-time winningest quarterback in the history of the NFL. Now, did he have 50 starts, though? That's the – he has to have 50 games, 50 starts. C- career wins, 66. He's got well, damn. 10 more – 11 more wins than Otto Graham. Who did he – when did he play? Let's have some – what's his name, Dom LaMonica? What is it? Daryl LaMonica yeah, played sure. for the Raiders and played for the Buffalo Bills. And then you've got I've Brady, that name I like. Roger Stallback, Joe Montana, Peyton Manning. Wow. All right, Daryl LaMonica. I never heard any any LaMonica jerseys out there. LaMonica. LaMonica. Yeah. LaMonica. <laughs> Who is this guy? Let's talk I, about Daryl I don't, for a minute. I don't know. I wonder Darryl what his rating LaMonica. Hey, right. what's going on? <laughs> Who do you play? He's playing for the Fury's sure he's punting Ray oh, Guy. He's born in Fresno, though. Okay. Six foot three, two eighteen. Pretty, pretty size. big quarterback for back then. Yeah. In the sixties. Second team all pro, two time pro bowler, three time AFL champion. Oh, we got okay. somebody uh might have slipped through the cracks here. Hey, everybody wow. else on the chat, don't listen to me right now. Hey, you know what though? You still have Jim Kelly. You still have uh, uh Troy Aikman who are out there. You still have yep. a whole bunch of guys. Of great quarterbacks, um, who are sitting out there. We'll see with the incoming that I'm told from Danny, uh, quarterback mobility uh, and like design plays. How does that work with this adjusted AI? What quarterbacks make sense? You know, do people look to make changes? I I, I wonder. It's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I mean, if Daryl right. Lamonica comes in the league, I might be might be uh, putting Steve uh, oh, Young boy. up for. Uh, oh my. Yeah. So Lamonica played in the first ever. Little League World Series. <laughs> really? What baseball contract ball. with the Cubs. Yeah, got drafted out of high school to play baseball. He's like a lot of the players in this league, guys. You don't really Otto hear Graham. about, but have these really interesting careers. Yeah. Yeah. Otto Graham with the basketball side. Did you say he played French horn or something too? French horn. What a, a talent. Otto Graham. Won a state Zings championship in, over the metal. in a so. sextet. In a sextet. Six, that's no, six. That's get your, get, you're out of Las Vegas now. We're not talking about that kind of sex thing. <laughs> the guy just won. Otto Graham just won at light. A Steve, uh, Ozzie Newsom with that completion. 15 yards. Great grab by Newsom. Who just went right up the gut. And you got a trio right there. You got the high safety. And the two linebackers crunched right in together. No, were there like, any props yeah, for this game? Uh, there was. It was who's going to throw for more passing yards, Peyton Manning or Otto Graham in our stole picks. And uh, who uh, who got the most uh, uh, you know bets what? on their side? Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. I'll let you, I'll let you know. I know uh, about a half hour before game time, it was Otto Graham leading. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a let's take a peek. Okay. One Ooh, time. Graham gets sacked here. Oh, oh so big right up there. John. John Randall. Second sack for John Randall coming in right beside Warren Sapp. Russ Washington and Mike Ken picking up Sapp, but letting John Randall get through. Let's see, I post these damn things enough. Let's see if I can find them. Ah, there we are. Okay. Oh, just got it in. Did he catch it? Is that in bounds? He got like that. Was. Wow. Toe drag swag, a little tippy toe tap. As we have a minute 11 left, and the goats are marching. Let's see here. 
Otto Graham was the leader. Otto Graham got the most bets on him. Peyton Manning second. Now, what do you do here? This is one of those positions. This is one of those spots where you kind of you get afraid that you're going to throw a touchdown here with the last minute of the game or throw an interception the last minute of the game or, you know, fumble the ball away. So, yeah. you know, it happens a lot when you're real close here. You, the game is on the line. The half is on the line. And we'll see if they just kind of sit back and settle for the field goal, which is kind of what I would do right now, just based on my experience. Well, it's one of those things, right? You start running out of real estate there. Yeah. Times at three, all three timeouts for the goats. Fury has used one. You got a stud defensive backfield. Yeah, yeah you do. The Fury. Yeah. You got Ronnie Lott there, and you got Singletary and Lambert clogging up that middle. So trying to take away that Steve Largent cross. Ooh. Let's see. I can't see it yet. Okay. Oh, there it is. I see it now, Jack Lambert, gashing, hitting that gap, blowing it up. Otto Graham, man, five-time MVP, three in the NFL, two in the AAFC. Under a minute to go in the first half, 17 from the 24. Out of the eye, Johnson, the fullback, Tiki Barber, in behind. Goats, the team that has run the least times. In the AFL this season. There's Graham. Graham is taken down again. And he is being pushed back. Jack Lambert, a second consecutive sack, really hitting that left side, hitting the gap in between Russ Washington and Mike Ken in the center and left guard. So they will go for that field goal with Sebastian Janikowski. 19 seasons, 48 yarder is good. And we have another lead change here, Dan. 26, 42 25, and 42 left. seconds. Yeah. Oh, boy. Heck of a ball game here, folks. My goodness. And that's the thing in this league. You can have we can have two touchdowns in 42 seconds. The quick strike yeah, ability absolutely. is crazy. And if that doesn't happen, tell me again what we have for halftime. Well, halftime, Dan, we're going to have a little bit of a break. I'm going to go uh, fill up my water. And then we're going to come right back and actually be joined – we're going to join this game in the fourth quarter. And the reason we're doing that, folks, is because we love the game. But, man, this sucker went three hours, okay, recording. That's that's too long for eSports. For, for, we got to be out. We got to hard out at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. So the entire game is going to be uploaded to the American Football Legends of YouTube. So you can see the whole game in its full entirety after its conclusion. It will be saved, archived, all up there. But for our purposes here for the broadcast – we will join it at in the fourth quarter after a very short halftime break. So that'll come up in just a few seconds, and we'll really yeah, something, we'll really something see the weird's happening with the algorithm here. Coy Bacon is in here just sacking everybody Bacon's as you're, you're giving this two sacks in a row. And Bacon, the first month of the season, Dan Coy Bacon was a monster. I'm telling you, it must be LT knocking his defender, so. uh, offensive lineman, off of Coy Bacon's, yeah. you know, blocker because. Come on, he's a 94-rated guy. Uh, he did He did lead the NFL in sacks in 1976 with 21 and a half. Can yeah. You that? One year, yeah. though. Rams, yeah. Washington, Cincinnati, Chargers, three Pro Bowls. But, yeah, I, I agree. I think it's probably... I, mean, I had Gastineau, and he didn't have uh, yeah. the kind of season that uh, Corey Bacon's having. But I, I had think... Butkus back there, and it, didn't, it just didn't work out. I don't know how think... that duo tandem is working so well together. It's... And it could be positioning. It could be moving around. I know some teams had success moving guys from outside to inside, and you saw some names really pop, you know. So, it dep And the next thing is, too, apparently the defensive AI, especially the secondary, is supposed to be vastly improved next year. So we're going to see, Great. I think, a lot more out of Deion Sanders, Ronnie Lott, those types of guys. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to go after the uh, Goats coach this year. We're going to try to make a play for him. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Dan talking shop. <laughs> And complete the large 10 seconds left. Is that tampering? Two timeouts. Uh, no, you know what? We haven't said a tampering. A coach champion, you can tamper all you want. <laughs> Absolutely. Do, do they, it, who, I don't even know who coaches that team. Is it one of the owners? Uh, I think it goes back and forth a little bit. So yeah. it's a bit of a, you know, we'll, have, we'll have to see. And also the offseason moves and what these players and teams look like with the game adjustments, right? How does that look? Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Larry says, can't ask for a better showcase or a closer battle in the inaugural Golden Bowl. Golden Bowl 
Instant classic. You're right, Larry. 26-25, the one and two seeded teams. We got the two best seeded teams, two best records in a one-point game at the end of the first half. Unbelievable. Incomplete. Four seconds. For Largent. Oh, four seconds. What do we got here? Anything going to happen? Ooh. We can get a touchdown. Too far four for a field goal. Recovery. Yep. Too long for a field goal. Okay. <clears throat> How did the eye not, you know, not going a wide receiver set? Just not going really four You instinctively want to throw long here, but a lot yeah. of those cross, crossing patterns to go for touchdowns. You're oh. Right. oh! 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 Yeesh. God O'Graham was just standing was his dicey. ground. And that is the end of the, the second quarter. 26-25, people. 26-25 for the Goats. Can... The goats hold on, and really, we've seen about four or five lead changes, so it's not even hold on. It's just, how is this one going to play out? We're going to take a very quick two, three-minute intermission, come back. We will join the game in progress in the fourth quarter. I'm going to fill up my water. Don't go anywhere. The Golden Bowl will continue. You're watching the American Football Legends League right here on Twitch TV.
And we are back. We're ready to rumble, people. Andy McNamara, Dan Esposito, Golden Bowl. We joined the game in progress. 10-11 left in the fourth quarter at the half. It was 26-25. Goats up on the Fury. The tide has shifted. It's the Fury leading 38-32 on the Goats. But, Dan, still just as close. I'm Andy McNamara. That's Dan Esposito. Uh, boy, and this game, Dan, in its entirety, will be uploaded to our YouTube page, American Football Legends League, right after the conclusion, so you won't miss a second. Field goal is up, and it is good for the Furies. 38-yarder is good. Now 41 yards, 41-32. Pulling away a little bit here. Yeah, pulling away a little bit here. Yeah, Adam Vinatieri. Cheers, by the way. With the boot. Yes, cheers, brother. Great All season. Right. Yes, What do you have? Season. What's in yours? Uh, just water. Mm. <laughs> what do you got? A little fancier? Tequila and spray. Oh, tequila and spray. Tequila think really is just, that's what I drink. It's either that or uh, when I'm at home, it's either tequila or fireball. Yeah. Or fireball. Just, you know I what? buy the little fireball, little little bottles, yeah. put them in the fridge. You know, once a day I do a little, not every day, you know. A little like nip? Once a year I'll buy the thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'm going to send you a recipe. I got one. And by the way, folks, you can get this fantastic UFS Sports mug with whatever logo you want uh, on it at the shop, UFSports.com. Check it out. As Otto Graham is e – oh, how did he catch that? Jason Somehow Witten. got that off. Somehow Jason Witten. That was amazing. One of the fi MVP finalists, Jason Witten, maybe a little upset learning that he didn't win the award, moves the chains on that first down. Um, I have a, uh, a recipe I will send you. I've coined it. It's called the Hot Andy. And it involves fireball, butter, lemon juice, and bourbon. Uh, and, and, a, and a bit of orange. Anything with butter is instantly better. And some orange yeah. juice in. It's quite it's quite the good winter drink with fireball. It's it's very good. Yeah, I'm in. Let's see. Unfortunately, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's right. Hey, it's still a what great What is going on with Otto Graham? Look Otto at him Graham. moving out of the way. So slippery. And you know what? He's obviously there's not a lot of video footage of, of him because just of the time frame that he played, but um, not a speedster by any means, but known to be um, more slippery, you know, a physical, tough to bring down type. Sure. I mean, I think he was about 5'11", 185. So, I mean, and played basketball, was probably a lean muscle kind of guy. So he right. probably, probably had some speed on him, I, I would assume. Right. And, and that wouldn't translate to today's NBA. That would not work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he didn't play when they just passed, right? Or one dribble and pass. Definite peach, <laughs> definite peach basket era guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh boy, and you know what, folks? At the end of this game, we will let you know. We'll divvy out the MVP for the game and talk to the game-winning coach. So whoever it is, whichever team, we will talk to the game-winning coach. Who do you got so far as the MVP? What do you What do you think? You know what? With the Fury right now, I have Randy Moss um, personally, uh, but it's close. Like you could say, you know, Rod Woods has a couple of interceptions. It's It's going to be tight. Um, Bowie Bacon's got a couple big sacks for this for the uh, for the Goats. Yeah. 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 You, you know what? Somebody like a Wilbur Marshall has two sacks and a fumble I mean, recovery. Otto Graham at the end of the this the game here is just making some magician moves the guy wins that's all he does dan he 10 yeah. straight 10 years in the league 10 championship games seven victories in it the guy's just a winner that's all he did his whole life he just won peyton manning of course two super bowl championships one with the colts and one with the broncos yeah and by the way folks and let's be honest the defense won that that's well, Super Bowl. they did. He, he was defense wins most Super Bowls. He, he was more mine than arm and not Denver one, but you know, he still had a few great years in Denver to, to get those stats. And what a it's set now he brought how... down Eric and Dan, Eric Berry's another dark horse. Eric Berry, another sack for the Goats, or rather for the Fury, taking down uh, Otto Graham. He's got at least, gosh, I'd say at least four. Oh, and yeah, another this one. Is, this is Five. what I don't get. Yeah, at the end of the game here, just this sack, 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 and you you get, you know. You... A, a second half adjustments. Oh, that field yeah, goal. I don't know I don't, what I you can do. I mean, you pull in all your, you, you, know, you hold everyone into, I don't know who he held in for, for to block there, but you get to the point where you're holding everyone into the block. You got one guy going out on a route. 
Well, weaker, uh, you know, on the fullbacks at John Johnson. I'm not sure exactly what his rating is, but he's not a 99. And that yeah. kickback that will go out of bounds. And, hey, folks, by the way, hesitant about what play to make for your business? Contact Data Science and Consultants for an introductory data assessment to develop a roadmap to turn your business's data into usable information. Track relevant KPIs and metrics to effortlessly view the health of your business. Go to datasciencing.com for more. All right, people. Let's see what we have. The Goats on defense, 41-35, 640 to go in the fourth. Marshall Falk taken down hard by Willie Brown. A loss of four. Push back to the 21, second and 14. And Dan, this is so fascinating at this point in the game because if you're the Fury or the Goats, you're still very much in. You can stick with whatever game plan you came in with. You are still within one score, one major. And Manning, it's caught. All right. Gain of, gain of two. No, gain of a few, third and eight. Come here, sir. Make up there. Right, we've got a special guest coming in to join oh, us for is, the broadcast. Is this our MVP? Yeah. Uh, they're the MVP of the Conchi Little League. Can show Conchi the keys? With the Little League. There we go. He, he guest commentator before, earlier in the season, too. Yeah. This is Danger. There it is. Hey, Danger. Oh, ask him who he thinks is going to win. Oh, there's Randy Moss. Got... There he is. Hold on. 30, the 20, the 10, 5, touchdown. It's the Fury, and it's Randy Moss with the score, his second touchdown of the game. A huge touchdown at this point in the ball game. 48, 35 for the Fury. Randy Moss, the Hall of Famer, with another score. Wow. And, 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 and yeah, it's uh, we'll, we'll see how – goats come back on this possession here are they going to press we see a lot of sacks you know this is when the game gets really really interesting because if they don't come back and score on this drive well then you know it seems yeah. like fury's really got some momentum going to bring the, go the golden bowl home that's right well hey jump in the chat we see everybody's here prestige worldwide sports finally ran a post route against cover zero could be the dagger and thank you, everybody. Yes, Time Bandit saying thanks to me, Dan, Max, Jamie, everybody for a great season. Absolutely. Hey, folks, this is just the start. This is an experiment of like, hey, what, what happens if we put the all-time greats without injuries in their prime head-to-head? -head? I don't know. Why don't we make a damn league about it? And we did. And it's been a heck of a ride, a lot of fun. And this is the Golden Bowl. And there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of improvements to the gaming side, to the, the experience viewing side, a lot more to come in season two i cannot wait for that but we still have a heck of a finish here 601 to go so danger who's gonna win the game dan who's, who's yeah, here, you think? here you go who's he think who's gonna win the game the goats or the fury wait which one do you like i i like the heroes <laughs> they're not playing yeah. dan seven and nine you gotta look in here look at the <laughs> screen say heroes got robbed yeah it was a question. I, I don't I don't buy it. <laughs> I think the goats are gonna win that. You think the goats oh. are gonna win? Yeah. Okay. okay. Danger saying Sandy up there. Hey Danger. Hi. Hi. Goats <laughs> with goats I with the headphones back. You wanna go up and watch your little TV? Yeah. Goats okay, with the comeback like? says danger. Good. Okay. The MVP. Good. Yeah, I can run now. You can run don't run right now. You gotta let it rest a little. <laughs> Heroes got robbed is his new team name, says Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So Danger calling for a GOAT's comeback. Well, hey, that's a decent start right there. At least the autogram with another first down. Oh, there's so much. So we've time got left. Heroes Football Club and we've got, you know, the new the new Ooh. Heroes University. Yes. Where everyone can come uh, come uh, skip all the academics and just play football for their <laughs> college career. Basket weaving uh, is a is a major at Heroes University, right? <laughs> walking to school, walking to class is uh, you get credit for that. We just Absolutely. teach you how to walk back and forth to class. There's actually no class. You just walk back and forth to class. Just teaching you to get up and get ready. That's it. Get get mentally prepared. Correct. Mentally prepared. You're not here. You're not at Heroes University to learn book book smarts. You're learning to, you're to do football. No playbook smarts. Playbook. That's smarts. it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's gonna be a lot of fun. You mentioned Ultimate College Fantasy Football League. That is coinciding with our real life. That is real-life college football league. 
and that's going to be the one that feeds in to our ultimate fantasy American football league, UFAFL. So Dan has Heroes FC in Legends, Heroes University. We just need to get you plugged in one day into that middle section. You'll have the trifecta, like uh, like yep. seven Cs. Well, and you know what? Hey, Heroes University, I cannot wait to see that logo when it's coming up. That's going to be incredible. I know. Well, yeah, I need a I need a new logo creator. My guy. Uh, you got Ross. MIA. We yeah, got our guy Ross. Ross. Ross is he in the chat? Ross, are you there? If Ross is there, Ross, is, I'll, I'll send him a message. Go ahead, Jeff. Ross. Is the yeah, I've talked to him on Telegram before. I'll get. Mm-hmm. I'll reach out to him. Okay. Yeah. Heroes mm-hmm. University. That's going to coincide. We have our 36 round player draft, July 16. Build that dynasty. Those players will earn in, in, in conjunction with the scouting side. If you're a scout, you have a player. They could earn you money in the college league. We just had our futures Ooh, auction. Oh, this last is what I'm Saturday. talking about. These sacks. Another sack. Is that bacon? Oh, Eric Berry. Boy, man. Eric Berry, who is really a, a, has been a nickel and kind of a rotation guy all year, having a heck of a ball game for Fury. Ross is a wizard, Jamie. Yes. Unbelievable. Otto Graham, and it fails to click. You have Jack Lambert and Singletary floating over that middle. 439 to go in the fourth. But yeah, 36 round player draft. Those players will then feed into the UFAFL when they get out of college, go to the NFL. If you have that player on as a scout, then you get some, earn some revenue on there as well. So a whole, the whole football ecosystem is going to be complete with the UCFFL. And very excited to have Heroes University as a part of that. And the GOATs are going to be very excited to have Steve Large and bring that ball down at the one. Just glue for fingers, ball and a string for monogram. Now there is some justice in the world. I do have the first pick in the college draft. I was just going to say, Dan, first overall pick. Yeah. For Dan and I get to pick my first offensive line. I get the first pick of offensive line That's as well. That's right. So Which, it's, I mean, I can go ahead and tell everybody what it's going to be now since it's already a done deal, right? Well, you, you know what? You, 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 well, I guess, I guess so, sure. Okay, yeah. Why not? It's going to be Air Force. Because you have an association with Air Force, right? you got a connection. Well, my brother is in the Air Force, but yeah. the Air Force, the Air Force – runs that option offense all they do oh, is run all go. they do is run there you go hey, that see smart watch them go ahead. to the oh, spread barber. spread uh, formation next year <laughs> oh dan tiki barber tiki barber that might be the first or second rushing touchdown for the goats all year a touchdown for the goats and unbelievably it's on the ground wow tiki okay gonna come back here 48-42, extra point, good by Janikowski. Score a touchdown for your business with an introductory data assessment from Data Science and Consultants. Check out their website, datasciencing.com. 337 to go, Dan, just down by six. Okay. So with this data sciences company, do they, you have a bunch of leads and all your customers and you, there's something you can do with that data. You just don't know what it is, and they kind of right. create a plan for all your data. Yep, all that. Co- Peter is a uh, he. He is a a spreadsheet. You know, all, all the stuff, all the computer stuff. I don't know about. He's amazing yeah. at, and he helped us out. But yeah, you're right. check out that site. Could be something you don't even know that they can help you with your business. DataScience.com. Peter's a great dude. Pitch out to Falk and couldn't get that edge. Just could not get past him. Yeah, Christensen's been a beast today. Wow. Big game. Yeah, three-time NFL champ with the Lions. And you know that's old if the Lions are winning championships. Right. Oof. And look at the sneaky line move. Who's moving over there? I think that's a safety. I don't even know what's going on there. Is that? But that might be Christensen again. Is that Christensen? Oh, Wesley Wall. Wesley Walls. On the sack. And three, three nineteen to go. But yeah, Dan, you got your, you got to figure out your first overall pick, and you're gonna have the first overall pick in all thirty six rounds. Yeah. in the American Football Legends League. But you had some cool company, too. You have our guy, Garrick Jones, former NFL and CFL lineman, owner of fan-centric yeah. uh, uh, communities and of the frenzy in this league. Also, he is partnered with Eric Metcalf, yeah. who just won the running back MVP. So you got yeah. Jones and Metcalf. Another owner is Charles Stackhouse, fullback. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah full, fullback for the Giants and uh, yep. the Vikings. He's partnered with Mike Brown. They got the Alpha Ape. Uh, project and all that right 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 i have to look into that a little bit more yeah we talked to we had charles on great guy so 
they're in on ownership too and it's a fun group this college 18 teams in this college league for year one and we can yeah, i gotta reach out year. to chris johnson again and see if i can get yeah. him as an part owner part owner of my team on my college Absolutely. team I think it'd be Not a lot of fun. Team, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm being oh, yes, Otto sir. Graham. Otto Graham with the completion. The clock is running. Okay. All business the last two minutes here. 48-42, okay. folks. The Goats are marching. A touchdown and an extra point gives them the lead. And we're just before the two-minute warning. Out of the eye formation. Minutes. Here we go. Send this chat out. Send the link out. Copy, paste it, get people watching the Golden Bowl finale right here. The road to gold will end in Fury territory. And Eric Berry pushes, pushes Otto Graham back to Just midfield. really making a making a, a, a name for himself here in the league and maybe a, a play for MVP of this game. Eric I mean, Berry's when it counts, up. he's really stepping up. Eric Berry has been tremendous after, not again, not having a bad year, but certainly nothing to write home about out. I think he only appeared once in a one of the top performer, top three or four all season long. Yep. Having a heck of a ball game today. Two minute warning, folks. Down by six are the GOATs. Number one seed Fury versus number two seed GOATs. Both division champs, of course. And this is how the year ends. I cannot believe it. And it is over the top. It's oh, incomplete. Into triple coverage. <clears throat> Looking for Largen. Third and 17, two plays could end the season here. Boy, you got Jason Witten, you got Steve Largent, you got Ozzie Newsom. The stress the coach must be going through right now. Oh, and Just... operating out of the eye. Operating out of the eye as well. Under two minutes. Graham standing, and Graham is sacked. Graham is sacked. It's Derek Thomas. It's Derek Thomas off the edge, the left Ooh. edge. Going for a field goal. Or maybe How not. How many yards out are we? That would be a lot if we look back. Ball on the 49, but his side of the 49. Not, uh, not, not. Eh. I know Oof. Janikowski's got a leg, but. And the goats are thinking about it, Dan. Uh, yeah, I, I would I would say uh, either go for it or uh, hope you get a stop or something. I mean, the suspense is killing me. Fourth and 22. <laughs> like, what do the, they the got officials going on are here? being. The officials are being very lenient with the. Uh, I think he's. I think time. he's getting his calculator out to figure out uh, how far it actually is. Yeah. What's the longest be? field goal we've seen? Uh oh, here we go. We saw 60, 64. Okay, let's see. Janikowski's monster leg. It's back. It's back. It's back. Sixty-eight yarder. No good. No good for Janikowski. Would have been the longest field goal in AFLL history. Forty-eight, forty-two, Dan. Okay. 48-42. Fury takes over. Uh, gutsy, gutsy play. Because you know maybe you would, you know, fourth and twenty-two. Do you punt it? And I guess he thought, hey, you know what, Janikowski, one of the strongest legs ever in the National Football League, and it didn't work out. Certainly can't blame Janikowski. Sixty-eight yards. Can't expect a guy to make that. Minute forty. We're on the forty-nine. You have forty-nine yards to go to really Ooh. put this game. Out of well, reach. Well, well, really, Dan, you, you don't even need that. You just need to get, uh, you know, a little bit for field goal range. Right, right, sure, absolutely. Right? I think you, you don't even need a first down. You need maybe like three, <laughs> yeah, four right. yards. You got Adam Vinatieri back there. <clears throat> you know, so we'll Vinatieri see. Vinatieri, ninety-eight rating, I believe. He he would be right up there for sure. But well. the Goats could also push the Fury out if they get the payment, and they do. Hold on now, folks. Hold on. <laughs> Leroy Selman, the defensive tackle, right, right. blew through. And, of course, why wouldn't we make this interesting? Now ball in the 44. Now the go the Fury are out of field goal range. Very interesting. Timeout called by the Goats. They still have two left, second and 17. All right. Okay. This finish is incredible. I'm Thank just watching Edward what this Jordan. defense is doing, and it's just really fascinating. Yeah, they're creeping along that line. Zonka trying to eat up the clock. Got it. Got two. Keeps the ball away for interceptions. Hopefully no fumbles if you're the Fury. But it forces the Goats to use the timeout. Third and 15. So what are you doing here, Dan? Are you running it, making them use the last timeout? Oh, I'm handing it back off to Zonka. 
and just and and punt and make the goats come back because you're still only up by six you're still only, that's a lot of time there it goes yeah minute 33 is a lot of time going to zonka got one on the right okay fourth and 14. now will the goats use their last time out or will they let it run here because you still see that's interesting they're letting it run which which i get fourth and 14 it looks like he's going for it now i don't why 